Krishna is not alone. Krishna does not live in isolation or in a vacuum. And it's not a full conception of Krishna to conceive of him alone. Sometimes Guru Maharaj will say in the famous Gita Sloka, Bahunam Janmanam Ante Gyanavan Mam Prapadyate Va <coughs> Vasudeva Sarvamiti Samahatma Sadurlabaha. Saying after many, many births, you know, a rare Mahatma may come along who realizes Vasudeva Sarvamiti. Krishna's everything. You know, he's the source of everything. Everything comes from Krishna. Krishna is everything. But Guru Maharaj said, that's the beginning of the first personal conception in the Brahman world, the Brahma world. First personal conception. But where is his potency, his counterpart, his sweet self? So... Guru Maharaj will say, conceiving of Krishna alone, as implied in this sloka, is, means Krishna conception at a distance. Right. Sometimes we hear of uh, Mirabai in India. Um, everyone in India is enamored by Mirabai. She's such a great devotee and devoted from her childhood and writing so many songs, mad with praise of Krishna. But Srila Guru Maharaj will point out, for the sake of, our, uh, of analysis and our benefit, we need to understand progressive theism. He'll say, well, Bhaktivinoda Thakur, Saraswati Thakur, and those in their line do not recognize her as a substantial devotee of Krishna. Not saying not a devotee of Krishna, but as a substantial devotee of Krishna. And people say, why? Her songs are full of mad praise of Krishna. So many thought, Mira and Krishna. She's always writing songs about Mira and Krishna. And that's the point. Her and Krishna. Not the Asraya Vigraha. Not Radharani. Not Lalita Vishaka. Not Rupa Rati. But Mira and Krishna. So in as much as those who are dear, near and dear to Krishna have been bypassed or eliminated or not recognized by the ontological method of measurement, it means this is a distant Krishna conception. For where can Krishna be seen alone but at a great distance, far from the absolute center? Right? Not the extreme, not the golden mean. Golden mean means the Aprakrita Leela of Krishna, Goloka Vrindavan, where there's Radha and Krishna, Lalita Vishaka, Rupa, Rati, Subal, Sridham, Nanda, Yashoda, Gopa, Gopi, etc. So Krishna is worshipped along with his paraphernalia, those who are dear to Krishna. Right? 